to this day. 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 What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Cavill with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander the Cat, Usyk, Deontay Wilder, and Anthony Joshua. Get this. Alexander Usyk sides with Deontay Wilder to overcome Anthony Joshua. The unified heavyweight champion Usyk is backing Wilder to overcome Anthony Joshua in a potential clash of former title holders. Usyk picked up the two biggest wins of his career against Joshua. In 2021, Usyk defeated Joshua 12 rounds back to back, 21 and 22, okay? And we know what happened, but this is what uh, Usyk had to say about Joshua and Wilder. Uh, he continued with, Wilder's incredible streak is that if he hits once, one is unable to fight back, Usyk said on Usyk's K U617. He says, I'm going with Wilder 6040 in favor of Wilder. He hits incredibly hard. Deontay's able to send someone flying when he touches them. Wow. Let me counterpunch. This makes it real interesting for someone like Alexander Usyk because mainly, mostly marketable uh Markability wise, the person that beat the guy, you would want to root for the guy that you beat because you know you gain credibility. You gain credibility with that guy winning because it will make you that much better. See, if AJ beat Wilder, that will make Usyk better. On a casual mindset of how casuals work, and this is how they work, they look at the guy that got beat by another guy. Okay. The other guy, okay, is the guy that sticks out. Well, if the guy that got beat beats someone else, okay, then you create somewhat of a tier of accomplishments. Okay, so uh, Usyk beat Joshua, Joshua beats Wilder, then Wilder's looking at at number three, which that's not the truth. The truth of the matter is the only people that have fought is Usyk and Joshua and Joshua and Wilder. Wilder hasn't fought Usyk yet, so we can create or, or, or know what an outcome would be, okay? That is how it works. It doesn't work like a hierarchy or a damn totem pole. It works on who wins on each given day, and every fighter is uh, uh, fights another fighter, and how their styles match up is the way it goes, and that's the way it flows. Nothing more, nothing less, Okay. You can't take this performance and add it to this performance against a totally different opponent. It does not work like that. Their two styles are going to create what it's going to create when it clashes against each other and when they jail together. When they come together, we will see the outcome. We will see a beginning, a rise in action, a climax, and a conclusion. Okay, that's how that works. So uh, Usyk has not done what most people would do. Let's take Tyson Fury for example, okay? Tyson Fury is going to praise and going to root for Deontay Wilder because he knows Deontay Wilder is the person that he has defeated. So it, he has vested interest in Wilder not losing because the moment he gets beat by someone else, he can no longer praise Deontay Wilder to be the second baddest on the planet. Now there's someone else that has beat that man. The same for Wilder like he did for Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz might have been old. He might have been dangerous and skilled. OK, but nobody else has beat him. OK, so he paraded that fact around like it was a badge of honor. OK, shout out to Lamar Saint. <laughs> so that's what happened. OK, with those guys, because they always will will glorify their wins. And if nobody else can share their wins with them, they're OK and they can always say that. But they can't legitimately comfortably say that if someone else has beat them. Okay, so in other words, Tyson Fury, um, he would love and he likes the idea of saying that. Usyk is not saying that because he knows better. 
That's why it's hard to dislike Usyk because Usyk is not doing that casual, same old song and dance. I beat Joshua. Joshua was the best. That makes me the best. Therefore, I beat him and he will be able to beat everybody else. And it makes it a la lazy way of thinking. It's like work smarter, not harder. In this case of fighting, you know, it's not a such thing, really, because what people are trying to do, they're trying to cut corners. OK, they're trying to cut off the idea of fighting someone else if that guy hasn't beat him. OK, that's why Tyson feels it's not even necessary to fight someone like Anthony Joshua simply because Usyk has beat Anthony Joshua. OK, even if he beats Usyk, he would think, oh, wait, OK, well, look, I don't have to fight Anthony. You know what I mean? But yet you do, because it, the thing is, Anthony could beat you, possibly. That's what happens. That happened back in the day and it threw everybody else. Like, so you had guys that wore toupees and, and, and very famous in the commentary world, like Howard Cosell. He thought that Foreman destroyed uh, Norton. Foreman destroyed uh, Frazier. So therefore, Frazier and Norton has beat Ali, i.e., therefore, Ali ass is grass. Bars. But that didn't happen, did it? No, Ali went in there and upset Foreman. Knocked him out in the eighth round with the rope-a-dope method. Nobody ever heard of that, including Howard Gosell and all the suckers from the ring magazine and all those people that doubted Muhammad Ali. And he preached for about an hour and he told everybody where they could go. But that shows you, okay, as evidence, you cannot uh, overlook a fighter. So that does not have anything to do with Alexander Usyk beating Joshua, you know, that he thinks Joshua's going to lose to Wilder. OK, because he knows he's not Wilder. He doesn't have the one punch power like he's in, like he said in this article. He knows that guy is that guy and he is he and he is who he is. OK, that's it. You know, so if anything, he is going for the guy that he hasn't fought, that he doesn't have a win over. I think he's looking through and at that fight the way he should with unbiased eyes and the way he sees it. Now, he didn't go into detail. He's just really talking about the power of Wilder. But that is something you cannot overlook when you're thinking and talking about Deontay Wilder. The man can touch you with that right hand. That man can put you down to the ground. OK, and that's what he meant. He's just like, look, the dude's a hard puncher. He's a powerful puncher. And if he catches AJ, you know, AJ might be down for the count because we've seen other so many other people do it. So, like, you know, based on the fact, like, AJ, he has a pretty good chin, but, you know, he's been down with guys that hits hard or, you know, he's been down before with right hands or left hooks like Andy Ruiz, Vladimir Klitschko. You know, those guys he's been down before. So, you know, Wilder shouldn't, it shouldn't be an exception for Deontay Wilder. But you guys tell me what you think of Alexander Usyk choosing Deontay Wilder in a 60-40, which ain't too bad, people. It ain't like a 70-30 or a 20-80 or a 10-90. 60-40, he believes that Wilder will beat Joshua and he favors him. You guys tell me what you think about Usyk's prediction of Anthony Joshua and the possible fight between him and Deontay Wilder. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.